Hello guys, Brian Hare here. And today I had my client Tiffany come in and we colored her hair dark and then I had a cancellation so we decided to have a little bit of fun with her freshly dark hair. Uh, she told me that she wanted to do something that was going to be fun and give her like a really big pop of something cool because we hadn't done anything really cool in a while. So I had this idea and I really wanted to see how it would come out and I loved it so thankfully we filmed it and I can share it with you guys. So basically what we did was we decided to go around her entire hairline and do a really, really, really heavy application of lightener so that when her hair is all down, all of her dark hair will blanket over that and then you'll have this lighter color coming from underneath. So think of it as if she's got her hair pulled back in a ponytail, it's all going to be light, but then when she brings it down, it's going to be sort of just creeping and peeking out from underneath. So to get going, I pinned up the top sections of her hair so that that's all the stuff that I'm not even going to touch. So I got her whole hairline out and exposed. That way I can work just a little bit cleaner, a little bit easier, a little bit neater. Obviously, I've chosen to do this with balayage because when she pulls it back, I still want it to look as natural as possible. So it's going to have that nice soft uh, beginning point that balayage gives you. It's funny, when Matt watched the video, he said, you really used a lot of lightener on this. And I said, I know, it's because I really wanted it. I wanted almost a, like, frost a cake. I wanted so much lightener on there because she was so dark, and I really wanted to get as much lift as possible. And for this, as, as per usual, I was using Sunlight's Balayage Lightener, and it's one of those things you can't use too much. In fact, it's better when you're really looking for the maximum amount of lift to apply this much. You see, I get it on the section, and then I go back, and I put more, and I put more. And it's because that clay base is going to almost create like a little bit of a shell around the outside and just continuously process the hair that's on the inside to give me as much lift as possible. So you want to make sure that when you do all that application, you can't really see any of the individual hairs on the outside because then they become a part of that shell and they don't process as much. So I'm just pulling all these sections away from her face because that's how I want the lightener to be seen. And then just using that wrap to cover my section so that after I color one, I can lay it over and know that it's not touching anything that I don't want it. I am not coloring the what technically would be considered the underside of these sections. I'm only coloring what you can see in through the ends. It's going to help to give me that nice balayage blend that we've grown to love so much. Uh, I'm using Sunlights and 40 for anyone that's going to ask because I wanted maximum amount of lift. I was not looking to make her super, super duper blonde. So when I toned her, I used a nice level 7 green ash with a level 8 blue ash and a level 8 sort of smoky gray pearl neutral for those that are going to ask about the toner. Uh, that way it helped to get rid of the warmth and she got a really cool effect that I was really happy with and I really hope that you guys like it. If you have any questions, post them below or find me on Hairstyle on Instagram. Thanks, guys.